Hello, friends. Thanks for tuning in once again to Perry Live. Uh, I'm excited to be here today. Perry Live is a great show. If you live in Perry or if you live outside of Perry, um, just to learn about downtown revitalization and some fun tips and real stories. And today I'm especially thankful to introduce my co-host to you all, Kayla Shrum, Main Street Director of Perry. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. We're always, you know, Kayla and I work together a lot, and so I'm always uh, thankful that when we get to do this show together and work together. And, um, and, and today we have something very special for you. I think you're really going to enjoy. Um, or it might be a little crazy, <laughs> special crazy. Or not sure. you, both of us, uh, you know, some people that know me, uh, people that know me well, um, you know, say, Ron, why don't you ever get nervous? I might be a little bit nervous today. <laughs> in fact, my hands are just a little bit sweaty, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's a little nerve-wracking, definitely. Thinking about downtown revitalization and thinking about what we want the future of our community to look like, um, you know, I talk a lot about designing around people rather than designing around cars. And part of that, you know, like it or not, kids are people too, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And so today we're going to, you know, and we talk about the kids being part of the future. Yeah, I mean, working as the Main Street Director, um, part of what inspires me to mm. um, bring back downtown and work in downtown is are, are the children my own kids, right. hoping that they enjoy the same experiences that I had. And I grew up um, here in Perry, born and raised. Mm -hmm. um, I feel fortunate that my own children are being brought up here, and I, you know, I walked a goat in the pet parade before walking <laughs> a goat was cool, and um, hunted Easter eggs, and ate breakfast with my dad at the comeback, and yeah. I'm excited. It's important for my, my children to experience that downtown, too. Yeah, yeah, so you have, you probably have a lot of good memories. Yeah. Of, and I can remember even in our, our, our town, so, you know, I was, I'm a transplant in Arkansas, so I didn't, I don't have childhood memories, but mm -hmm. I wanted my kids to have some, and I can remember just walking through the downtown with with my daughters and and them like asking them to identify the cool parts and and, and they see just a completely different thing than you right. know than we yeah. see right yeah and, and part of that's you know maybe the level that they're which they're, <laughs> <laughs> they're looking especially compared to you yeah right right and but what's kind of funny is alexis my youngest was seeing things up high so maybe it's because she was looking past me or something <laughs> <laughs> looking up so uh, yeah, so, you know, my girls have had some great memories in downtown Salem Springs, and so that's part of what we want to do in this effort is to bring bring the kids in and, you know, get them involved. And I, we, Kayla and I, to kind of get ready for this, we watched a video that I did in Kettle Falls, Washington, a small town, 1,600 people, 1,660, I think, and uh, had some of the students come in and tell you know, tell me in front of their classmates and in front of the, some, the faculty and staff and the superintendent of schools what they wanted to see their community look like. Mm -hmm. It's kind of inspiring, huh, when we watch yeah, that? Yeah, it was. It, it made me think about, I wonder what the, the kids of Perry, what, what do they want to see downtown? Right. And I think that was a common thing mentioned whenever you talked to people back in June was uh -huh. something for the kids to do. Right. Something to take your kids to do. Well, today we get that chance. That's why today's a special treat. It is uh, spring break, mm -hmm. so the kids are out of school, and we thought we would bring in a couple of special young people to come and help us with today's show. So why don't you guys come on up, Aaliyah and Gav Gavin? Come on up, guys. Thanks for joining us today. All right, we rehearsed this whole part, and so far you guys are doing a great job. Now. Dun, 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 dun. Can you flip yours around, Gavin? So today it is a Perry Live with Gavin and Aaliyah. Those, what, were those, what were those mugs made at, Gavin? Red Earth Designs. Red Earth Designs? Who do you know at Red, Red Earth Designs? My mom, Phil, and Gayla. <laughs> okay. So your mom works at Red Earth Designs? Yes. Um, and so yeah, that's, that's, that's what you, you hang out downtown quite a bit. No. So, Oh, My no? mom hangs out here. <laughs> okay. I come down here sometimes. Sometimes? Okay. And Aaliyah, you hang out downtown sometimes? Yeah. How come you hang out sometimes? Because my mom works um, downtown. Where does your mom work? At Main, at Main Street. 
Main Street. Main Street. Okay, so I need both of you guys to speak up just a little bit more if you can, okay? okay. So just, we would, we've been practicing all day, and you, I know you guys can talk loud. <laughs> I've heard it. So what does your mom, what does your mom do? What's her job? Um, she works like with the community and stuff like that. Works with the community, yeah. To do, to and what? What do you, do you know? No. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to know what moms do all the time, huh? All you know is that um, downtown's looking better, huh? So she must be doing her job. What's your mom do at Red Earth Designs? Um, she sews um, mix hats and baseball jerseys and stuff. Okay. And screen prints. Screen prints? Nice. And makes these And mugs. she makes mugs. She made, she made some mugs for us today. Well, we thought it might be fun before I ask you some questions to try to break the ice a little bit. So before I ask you questions on what you would want to see downtown, so be thinking about that. What would you like the downtown to be? Uh, I think you guys have some questions for me from what I heard. Who wants to go first? <laughs> this, is the ner this is why I'm wiping my hands on my pants because I'm a little bit nervous right now. All right, Gavin, you got your questions out? You ready? No, I don't have them out. <laughs> Do you have them memorized? No. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some of these feel made. Some of them feel made. Well, I want to hear the questions you made. Okay. All right. What is your five-year plan for Perry? Ooh, that's a good. You came up with that question. What is my five-year plan for Perry? Man, I was I was expecting you know something a different question all right my five-year plan for Perry is to have small successes every year meaning we're gonna have a couple businesses and maybe five new buildings renovated this year and then next year will be three or four or five more right and then we're gonna start coming up with more events so this year we're not going to do very many events because you know what I mean by events yeah, like, like, parades. like parades and things. We're not going to do as many because we're really focused on getting, getting more businesses and getting more buildings. And we've got a couple of restaurants to build and we've got some loft apartments to build. Do you know, do you know where we're going to put some, some of the lofts? What is a loft? Okay, that's a good question. Some apartments. Do you know where we're putting some apartments? Or maybe even like some rooms for people to stay? right above Red Earth Designs. Did you know that Phil and Gayla were getting ready to do that? Oh, yeah, my mom's <laughs> been talking to my dad about that. Right. So, gonna get some pe people's gonna be living above Red Earth Designs. So, I'm gonna think about your question, the five-year plan. I, you know, I've been more focused on the one to three-year plan lately. Hopefully, we'll, after a year, when we know what's really how things are going, um, you know, me and, and, and your mom and some of the others and Phil probably, we'll sit down and we'll get the community together to say, here's how we want to see Perry look in five years. How about that? Okay, you got a question. Um, what do you do mostly downtown? I walk around. <laughs> That's what I do mostly. I walk around and I talk to people. I am... Um, I have been told that I'm a connector, okay? So I make connections. And sometimes it's hard, you would think, even in small town to make those connections. Today we, today we talked with somebody that wants to open a bakery. And, we, and she brought us a loaf of bread. It's How'd you like now. it? Huh? It's mine now. <laughs> it's his now. Yeah, Gavin asked, uh, what does he get for doing the show? So I gave, him the, I gave him some bread and said, there you go, you get some bread. But how good was that? Pretty good. Pretty good. So we're going to try to find a place. Part of what I'm going to do is try to find a place for her to work. But that sounds easy, like, oh, okay, just go to that building. But it's not that easy. Then we've got to find out, is that building for sale? Is it for rent? Is it, do we have to fix it up? How much is that going to cost? You know what I mean? So yeah. I try to help make all of that happen. So that's kind of what I do is I make connections. Is probably my number one thing. All right, Gavin, what do you got? Mm, why did you choose Perry to renovate? Why did I choose Perry to renovate? Well, first Cherry, Perry chose me. Your mom, your mom um, Kayla, called me one day and said, hey, would you come and work in Perry? 
and so we did and it worked it went so well I just knew that there was something that could that was going to work here so I came back and talked with some city people and different things and they we came up with a plan to get me to work here because I have so much confidence in this town it's going to work so Perry chose me but then I kind of came back and said hey I really would like to to stay in Perry because I think it's going to work here and I work in a lot of towns and I don't get I don't do that every every town I but some something in Perry just felt really good okay um, how is it writing that one book that you have oh it was hard to write a book have you guys ever tried to write like is you have to ever write like an essay at school or anything like that I've had to write many book reports many book reports yeah do you like doing that Depends on what book it is. Okay. Well, I don't like to write, and I'm a pretty busy guy, and I was real, even, I was always been busy, I guess, and so I had a, I hired somebody in Tulsa that I would go and sit with, and, and I would tell him stories, and he would help me get, unravel them all, and, and the stories became chapters, and, you know, one story about one building might have been a chapter, and one about practical preservation, might be a chapter and all of these things. And then he helped me put my thoughts together. So what they call that is he was a ghostwriter. So I, I, it was all my words, but sometimes he was helping, he would help me keep, get my, because if you talk to me very much, you see that I'm a little scattered sometimes. And so he helped me get all my thoughts together. So that's a great question. All right, you got um, another one, Gavin? This one I really don't want to say because Phil. Um, okay. What's your favorite ice cream flavor at Brahms? Oh, mint chocolate chip. Or vanilla. Sometimes I'm just plain vanilla. What's yours? Well, it's really not ice cream, it's sherbet. Oh. It's lime sherbet. Lime sherbet? What's your favorite ice cream? Um, yours and chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, I like chocolate chip cookie dough too. High five. We could probably share ice cream together sometime. If I see you have an ice cream walking down, can I have a bite of it? No. <laughs> well, I want that high five back. No. <laughs> okay, one more question. Go, uh, um, your turn. Um, do you have any siblings? Do I have any siblings? Yes, I have four. I had to think about it. That's funny, because I have, um, I grew up with two brothers. My whole family is all kind of blended, so I don't have any, I don't have any siblings with the same mom and the same dad. So I have um, one brother with with my mom. Another brother is a, is a step brother, and he's my call. He's my brother. You know what I mean? Like we don't have any of the same mom or dad, but we got married to get we got married together. <laughs> That's what you do in Arkansas. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew that or not. And then I have a brother and a sister in Idaho from on my dad's, from my dad. And so, yeah, so I have three brothers and one sister and lots of nieces and nephews and they're all super cute. Okay, you, you've got, I can tell you got one. You can go ahead, do your funny question and then we'll, you got a funny question? Yeah. What is it? Um, have you changed the flat tire recently? <laughs> <laughs> have I changed the flat tire recently? Yesterday. How did you know I got a flat tire? Phil. That's what I figured. Yeah, so I drive a lot. Um, on a slow week, I drive probably seven hours to ten hours a, a week. I drive. And... Next week is going to be driving a lot. Next week I'll be driving to Kansas City and who knows where else. So it's going to happen. I got a flat tire in the middle of nowhere yesterday. Um, and, and of course, my Audi that you were making fun of earlier <laughs> had to have a special tool to take these lug nuts off. It wasn't in my car, so I was stranded for about two hours. But I finally got it changed. So thanks for asking. Okay. What about you? Last one. Um, do you have you played sports? I have. Yeah, I love to play sports. Um, basketball was my number one sport. And I've watched your videos. You're a pretty good basketball player. 
I can see the. I can see some skills. Softball is more of your sport, though, right? Yeah, I could tell. Because basketball was this like your first year you ever played or something like that? No, I've been playing. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, you're pretty athletic too. I don't play sports as much as I used to now. I just kind of work out at the gym and stuff. But I don't I mind. I play sports. You do? You play sports? Yeah. What do you play? I play baseball. Well, I did play wrestling. Play wrestling, okay. This is wrestling area. Okay, so let me ask you guys some questions now. Um, so here we are. You Now you know a little bit about what I do, so I told you I make connections. Okay, so maybe... You guys might have some ideas that I, you know, that I can help find ways to make it work. So, what would you guys like to see downtown? Yes. A splash pad. A splash pad. A splash pad. Gayla probably did not want to hear that. <laughs> have you been, have, did they prep you a little bit for this TV show? Yeah. I got the feeling that was happening. Yeah. Gayla said, whatever I do, don't say splash pad. <laughs> So you said it anyway. Yep. Did Is there anything else that somebody said, whatever you do, don't say that? No, not really. Oh, okay. All right, so a splash pad. What is a splash pad? A splash pad is... Yeah. If you want a splash pad, you got to tell me what no, it is. Like do you know what a splash pad is? It's like a pad that has water, and like when it's you like uh, jump onto it, it's like it splashes out water. like posts and stuff, and there's like big, huge buckets. <coughs> And water pours down into them, and then eventually they spill. Oh, and, and they'll tip the over. And their drains. And isn't there like, um, like you were saying, even mm -hmm. where some water shoots out of the ground? Yeah. Psh, 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 psh. And then you kind of jump, run around, and maybe you get wet, maybe you don't get wet. Sometimes you slip, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you slip, sometimes you know what? That's life right there. You remember that? That's deep. <laughs> uh, so uh, where would we put the, the splash pad? What did you get? Where we use, where we do mingle on Main? Yeah. Okay, where's that at? Um, next to the courthouse. Okay, okay. It's where the um, it's in the square. Where the, right. Where they do that stage thing. Okay. Stage yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where that's at. All right, that's a good place. So what else would we like, Aaliyah? What would you like to see downtown? A and, carnival. A carnival. With roller coasters um, and all of that, that would be cool. And where would we do that? We would do that in the square too, probably. Yeah. yeah. We do a lot of things. That, if so, we don't put a splash pad in, we could put a little like petting zoo. A petting zoo? That's a good idea. I bet. Um, I bet. We, I know where we could get some goats. <laughs> do you know where we can get some goats? My grandma's. That's what I thought. That's what I heard your grandma has some goats. Um, now let's talk about okay. Pretend that whatever you guys come up with can happen. All right. So, but I'm trying to say is don't don't put don't block things because you just don't think it'll work in Perry. You know, maybe some other cities you've been to or towns you've been to, you've seen some great things. And so, like besides, so a splash pad is great. Um, a carnival is great. I mean, everybody loves a carnival. Cotton candy. I love cotton candy. Blue, or do you like blue cotton candy? I do too. So if I see you walking around with a blue cotton candy and I bump into you, could I have a bite of it? No. <laughs> Man, saying about the ice cream. I am over two. <laughs> uh, all right. So what about like stores or things like that? You know what I mean? Or businesses? Um. What would you want to do if you come down? So both of you guys, your parents, or your, you know, both of your moms, work down here. So you, you're coming down, and you have to come hang with them. What would you want to go out and run around in the streets and do to have fun? What would you want to do to bring your family and friends here? Put a park. A park? Like, like what kind of park? Like with swings and yeah. monkey bars and stuff like that? And there's like a sidewalk going in, like between stuff. A what? A sled a side. that goes in between stuff. A sled. How about if we... Put a sled from the top of the courthouse and went all the way down. Yeah, <laughs> that would be awesome. But that, and if it was water slide. Mm -hmm. And if um, we had the petting zoo and it just went around, you could see all the animals. It's a good idea too. And what if we put the animals down the slide too? Probably freak out. <laughs> <laughs> they probably would freak out. 
Okay, so we have petting zoo. We have splash pad. Splash pad. Carnival. Carnival. And sled. A, a park. And yeah. a park. Okay, what else? Sled. Any kind of stores? Just a candy store. A candy store. A chocolate factory. Chocolate yeah. factory. Have you guys have you guys been to um, Foster's yet and got an ice cream? No. Hey, no. Man. <laughs> were you were you giving your mom a look? Uh, who wants to go? Who wants to go get an ice cream after the show? Me, me. Okay, you guys go and um, tell me how it is. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. I'll take you guys to go get ice cream. After okay, the show. good. <laughs> uh, and then, but hopefully they have. I wonder if they have mint chocolate chip. Did you tell me what your favorite is? Mint chocolate chip also. No. Oh, what was it? I like mint chocolate chip. What's your favorite? Um, it was a sherbet. Oh, that's right. It, it was, was a sherbet. It was okay. Sherbert. Okay. Um, all right. I got a question for you. This was a kind of a random question. Can you guys remember? I'll ask you first. Can you remember where you and I first met? I met you at a um, a restaurant. Yes. Where at? I don't know. I was coming home from Branson. Right. So we met in Arkansas, in my town. Yeah. The first time. You met you met me and Christina. Did we have Patches with us? Yeah. How many legs does Patches have? Three. That's right. <laughs> Patches is a three-legged dog. Do you remember where we met the first time, Gavin? Red Earth. Was it Red Earth? Wait. I think it was. But it might have been... Oh, yeah, it was Red Earth, and yeah, then you came here. Yeah, because then I came here because I had to bring the mugs for your show. Oh, that's right. That was when we first mugs. With the well. So if you go to Flip This Town on Facebook, which many of you are watching right now, and look at the, um, not the profile picture, but the uh, the other picture that's, a, that's a bit behind the profile, um, you, the picture of me and Gavin. I still have it. It's pretty yeah. cool. I think it's a pretty cool picture. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a picture of this, and we'll change it. So, well, I'm still be here. Okay. All right. So we, I guess, part of what I'm trying to get from you guys, we just hear a lot about making the downtown family friendly, giving stuff for kids to do, and so, so a candy store would be something we could maybe put in. But you know, it's kind of hard oh. to make money on a candy store because um, you have to sell a lot of candy. Yes. Like charity. Charity. What do you mean by that? Like um. Donation places where you like donate clothes and stuff to uh -huh. the charity. Yeah, that's a great idea, and that and that's just one of those things that just helps other people, which makes you feel. I mean, makes you feel good to help other people, for sure. And because you are helping people, and um, yeah, it's a great idea. So, thinking about, you know, I think that sometimes. Um, even having some kind of fun fun places to eat, you know, maybe even a food truck where you can get a hot dog, or you know something that uh, that's not just your normal foods. You know, can you can you give me some ideas like what kind of foods you guys like to eat? Like if like an Arby's with a playset. Arby's with a playset. Hmm. The new Brahms. You like the new Brahms? Yeah, it is kind of nice. Now, what is it about it that you like? Is it because it's new and nice, and or you just like Brahms? I like it because it has one place you can buy your food, and then the other place, it's a store. Oh, that's true. That's true. And you know what? So that same idea you know, are some things that we're actually working on. We're, one of the big kind of trends in redoing downtowns is coming up with <laughs> two or three businesses inside one business, you know. We've oh, we should have a mall. A mall. Downtown mall. is kind of like a big mall if there was something open in every store. Yeah, because all the buildings are like squished together. Right. But there's walls between them that make them different businesses. That's right. And they're actually different buildings and everything. So do you guys have any last words or anything for me before we uh, there was call it a day? more that Phil made. <laughs> All these questions that Phil made. What about that you? I don't have any more. You don't have any more questions at all? No. 
Sure was trying to be mean, though. Oh, I, I don't know if I should say it. <laughs> Go ahead. Have you ever had a Manny Petty? <laughs> <laughs> that was his idea. <laughs> have I ever had a Manny Petty? Um, I have never had a Manny, but I've had a Petty. I'm not gonna lie. I was at a I was at a resort one time, and it didn't cost me anything, and so I just plopped down and put my feet out there, and they it took them a while. Phil's been to my house before. He's Phil's well, Phil's probably pretty good at painting nails. I'm just guessing if I was. He got it all over my fingers. Okay, he's not that good at painting nails. <laughs> he's getting he's better at having it done for him. So, um, what about you? You got anything left? No. You got any embarrassing stories about your mom you can tell me about? Yeah. <laughs> probably not on. Oh, I do too. Not on TV. I hmm. do. Well. I probably shouldn't say it though. Probably shouldn't because we are. You know what it is, right? <laughs> does it have to do with the van? Yeah. Yeah, we probably shouldn't say that. I'll say it anyway. Okay. Um, my mom, we were going somewhere and she. She didn't see this van and there wasn't a stop sign and the van kept going and she had to drift around it. Drift? So does that mean like all the tires came off the ground? No. Did, does that mean she went like this and turned sideways? No, no. she went like that. Oh, she did a 180? Like that? No. She <laughs> like the back wheel stopped and her car just went like that. Whoa. But everybody was safe? Yeah. Okay. We didn't really check the van. But... <laughs> it doesn't matter if the other people are safe as long as you're safe. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so you guys get to keep Perry mm -hmm. Live with Gavin and Aaliyah yeah. mugs. You're not any part of this now. <laughs> I am not any part of this now. <laughs> You're right. <clears throat> I'll just take my little mug and bring it home to my own little world. I mean, you'll have more made. Right. It's Unless this up. is the last show. I mean, after we may not have anybody watch it. That's not going to happen. <laughs> so tell your friends. Really you got to tell your friends and their family to like and share and, and share this on Flip This Town because... Uh, you know, so you guys can, all your friends at school. Maybe they'll show this at school sometime. Okay, so I'm going to ask Kayla to come back up, and we're going to do a little wrap-up. Oh, Kayla, you were back there. <laughs> it's really hard to not laugh. <laughs> uh, so what, what kind of a takeaway? Do you have any takeaways from mm. this listening like that? I mean... It's always exciting to hear from them. Um, I'll get started on the carnival and splash pad <laughs> and petting zoo. Um, I'll form. Don't forget to slide. I'll, I'll, I'll form a committee. Uh huh. <laughs> right, I'll get right the on that. Splash pad and yeah. petting zoo committee. Yep. Um, but I still think at the end of the day, um, it's always nice having Aaliyah, and I'm sure Kim likes having Gavin downtown. It. Mm -hmm. um, like I said earlier, that's what. Um, inspires me because I mean I want them to stay and um, grow up here and have the same experiences as I as I did and plus some more. Mm -hmm. I don't live here though. I yeah. live in Stillwater. Well, but you're here a lot. That's I was raised here. Right, you were raised here. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. moved to Stillwater. Okay, all right. But you can so, still come here know, and play. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day that. when you were growing up, um, you were grew up from Perry. Yeah. I probably born. those years probably molded you, shaped you the to the young man that you are today. Do you remember the, the words of wisdom that you're supposed to remember for the rest of your life? Do you remember? No. What was it? Sometimes you fall, but you got to always get up? Is it's it something like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Well, I think that the, the, the takeaway is um, I think just getting kids in, involved in the downtown. I think bringing them down more often, uh, like we were talking about earlier, let let you know, see the downtown, see the square through their eyes. They, they, you guys, you're going to see things differently. 
And, and you know what we're probably going to do is we'll, we'll probably do that a little bit when we walk to Foster's and get an ice cream. We're going to, uh, I'll say, what do you guys see? What do you guys think about this building? What do you think about that building? What? And I think when we go out and do it that way, I think that when we go out and actually walking and pointing, I bet we'll have some more ideas. And when we Like some buildings that are closed down? Yeah. We could have ideas of what they can be turned into. That's exactly right. Yep. I bet once we, you know, it's hard when you're sitting here and you got a camera pointed at you and, and you know, some guy with headphones really sitting behind the, the buildings and, you can't and we can't remember. see the buildings and, and mm -hmm. we're looking at the TV and I move this hand, it's, you know, it's this way because everything's backwards. So um, when we get out into the fresh real world, I think some of the ideas are going to show up. Right? Yep. All right. You guys were great. Thank you guys for being on the show. Yeah, I know that uh, both of you were, has a little hesita hesitation at first, but uh, was it okay? Yeah. yeah. It wasn't too bad, was it? It was no. better than I thought it would be. Really? <laughs> what, what would you think was going to happen? You asked us a whole bunch of questions, and a lot more than we did ask, well, because that's what you do with the adults. <laughs> so you watch the shows? Yeah, I've watched almost all of them. All right. Because I wanted to know what it was would it be like because i watched more than half of them yesterday to see what it would be like on here t t today so you did some perry live binge watching yeah huh awesome you gonna watch this one probably yeah this one will be fun to watch i watched those a lot because you guys had matching clothes on <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was worried that we were all going to have matching clothes on, so I'm glad, because I almost wore my gold skirt. Mm -mm. Yeah, I almost did. All right, guys, so thanks for tuning in. Today was fun. We, didn't, we weren't sure what we were going to expect. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we want to make downtown Perry child-friendly. We want to make it adult-friendly, and we want to have a combination between the two. And I think there's definitely some options and things we'll be looking at that where a whole family can come down and enjoy. And, you know, Perry is a safe place. And, you know, it's going, to be, it's going to be fun watching this happen. So thanks for tuning in this week. I hope you enjoyed. Got a few giggles and, and enjoyed a lot of cuteness happening up here. Um, so next week, I don't, I don't think we're going to be on next week. Um, there's a National Main Street Conference that I will be presenting at. Kayla will be at as well. A lot of Main Streeters across the country will be at a conference. And so hopefully we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. So thanks for tuning in and hope you enjoyed uh, Perry Live this week. <laughs>